Hey guys, this is DPE Carol. Now, slow flight installs, as you guys know, are foundational to basic aircraft control, and therefore almost nothing could be more important. Those of you who have taken check rides with me understand that you will be having a lot of questions on um, the knowledge surrounding stalls and slow flight and then you are expected to perform standard of the ACS um, in, when in flight. So let's talk about what the ACS has to say about slow flight and then uh, let me tell you where I take issue with how some instructors are teaching their students to set up for slow flight and why. In the ACS for private pilot airplane, we have area of operation seven, slow flight and stalls, task A, maneuvering during slow flight. There's a number of different skills here that you guys can read and that you're probably already aware of, but down in skill three, it says applicant exhibits a skill to establish and maintain an airspeed at which any further increase in angle of attack increase in load factor or reduction in power would result in a stall, stall warning. In other words, it says in parentheses, aircraft buffet, stall horn, etc. And then under skill five, it notates the standards. Maintain the specif specified altitude plus minus 100 feet, specified heading plus minus 10 degrees, airspeed plus 10 minus zero knots and specified angle of bank plus minus 10 degrees. So where I see the most issues is applicants who set up, for instance, in a 172 at 65 knots and they're starting the maneuver just rote memorization at 65 knots. And the problem with this is they're not in compliance necessarily, right, with skill three. Establish and maintain an airspeed at which any further increase in angle of attack, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, would result in a stall warning of some kind. So, if I see an applicant starting at 65, it really puts me in an uncomfortable place as an examiner because you see, I have to count their minus zero speed, right? I don't know what that is on that particular day, right? And none of us really know for that particular day until we slow down and see or feel or hear the first indication of some impending stall. So if I see somebody starting at 65, then I know they're nowhere close to the true minus zero airspeed. I hope this makes sense. So I cannot teach on a check ride. Um, they should know the standards and you should know the standards and you should be teaching so that they comply with the standards. So uh, I expect them to slow down to exactly what this ACS says, all right? Um, and then that's their minus zero knots and then they get 10 knots above that as their speed range, it's allowable in the ACS. So. It's not just me that thinks this. I want to draw your attention to the Airplane Flying Handbook. In chapter five, page nine, it talks about slow flight several pages because it's an extremely important topic. And it says, slow flight should be introduced with the target airspeed sufficiently above the stall to permit safe maneuvering, but close enough to the stall warning for the pilot to experience the characteristics of flight at slow airspeed. Importantly, it says this, one way to determine the target airspeed is to slow the aircraft to the stall warning. When in the desired slow flight configuration, pitch the nose down slightly to eliminate the stall warning and add power to maintain altitude and note the airspeed. So, it doesn't say this is the only way to do it. However, if your applicant comes to me and I say nothing, as I'm supposed to do during the check ride, and tell them, show me slow flight, flaps full, and they're flying around at 70, they're gonna fail because they're nowhere close to the stall speed. Does this make sense? 
post your questions below if you have them. I'm happy to try to clarify. Thanks for listening and watching.